How to avoid getting hacked on the internet? And if you do get hacked, then what? Answers to these coming up. Hello everybody, hello and welcome! My name is Jake and I am the community manager here at Pixel World's headquarters and today we are talking about hacking. But before we go into that, I have a quick announcement to all of you guys. We have been nominated for People's Choice Award in the Game Connection Europe Development Awards, where you can vote us and help us to win. Now, we are also doing a giveaway of legendary items amongst all the voters, so if you are interested in this kind of giveaway and would like to help us to win, we would really appreciate it a lot. All you have to do is go to Facebook and like our contest and post, link in the description down below. I will also uh, tell you more about this at the end of this video, but now let's go back into the subject. So how can you make sure you won't lose your data, emails, accounts, in-game items, etc. And if you do get hacked, how can you get your account and stuff back? Or is that even possible? From time and time again in our game, I get to deal with this kind of situation and too often I have to say sorry, there is just nothing I can do. So this said, there are ways for you to prevent and also prepare for these kind of situations. These tips also work on other games and services and not only in our game, so even if you don't play our game, this will help you out. First, let's talk about how to make sure you won't get hacked. And for that, we need to first understand what the term getting hacked in games or on the internet actually means. Almost all the online games and services like email, YouTube and other websites are hosted by third party and not the actual service provider. Okay, well, YouTube kinda is owned by Google, so that kinda is not true because they, they are that third party, but, but, but still, like in our game, we don't have a closet full of servers running the game. Instead, this small $100 billion company called Amazon takes care of our servers and also the security for them. In this kind of situation, the so-called hack is almost, if not completely impossible to do, to the servers. Well, what is the term getting hacked then? It is a term that people use when someone has gained an access to their account without their permission. And for that, the hacker needs to get your username and password in some way. Because of this, I personally don't like to call these guys, you know, hackers. Much better description, in my opinion, would be social engineers, because 99.9999% of these hackers won't be able to get an access to your device password or your account name without you actually giving that to them. Now, this is why you see a lot of fake moderator applications, for example, asking for your username and password. Some people might be just so arrogant as well that they might even come and ask you straight up, hey, what do you use as your password? Well, I use my brother's uh, maiden name and then also, also my birth year. And then, yeah, it's only a matter of time until he figures out what is your brother's maiden name, etc. So, let's go through the most common ways how the hackers get your username and password. First is guessing. You might not even believe this, but most common way how the so-called hackers get into your account is just by guessing your password. Like, maybe you could not come up with a good password, and then you made your password uh, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Password. These kind of passwords are asking for people to come to your account and messing everything up. So make sure you have a good password, and do not use your username in that. For example, I have to keep my stuff very secure, and for that reason, I have different passwords for every single service. And by the way, it's over 25 letters and numbers long, so try to go and guess that. <laughs> Moderator applications or similar website forms. That's the second one. So sometimes you might see someone posting into the Instagram or other social media or even to some forums, like 
a little fishy links with the words become a moderator for the game right now. Or it might be something similar, where there is a web form and you need to fill it, and in that form it asks for your username and password. Yeah. You might guess it, but if you fill out that form and you give out your username and password, you are going to lose your account. So whenever somebody is asking for your password, be very careful and I would say like, never give your password to anybody. Then let's go to the third one. So other websites. Other websites like, uh, for example, forums. First, it looks like a very good. There is never too much of community places and websites and forums. But of course, in, in these, you have to make your own account there. Well, you use your normal internet handle, of course, or nickname, whatever you want to call that. And then you use the same password that you used, for example, in that game. After a short period of time, you realize, I got hacked. And on top of that, you are 100% sure that you did not leak your information. Well, the forums, even though it might be kinda legit, has an ulterior motive, or they might have. Of course, I'm not talking about everything, but sometimes this is true. So they have an ulterior motive to collect your data and then test it out if other services and games that you play have that same password. This is the reason to use different passwords everywhere. Fourth one, keyloggers. This used to be the most common way how people got hacked. For example, in World of Warcraft back in the day before there was um, another way to verify login detail. But keyloggers are programs that record all the keystrokes in your computer or even in your mobile phone. So after you have logged in into your account, it sends those keystrokes to the perpetrator. This way, once again, the so-called hacker gets to know your account password and username. For this to work, the keylogger needs to somehow be able to get into your computer. So most common ways for this to happen are third-party programs, game mods or other game tools that somebody has asked for you to try or you have been searching for that. You download and install them. They might still work, but at the same time they record everything and then they send your information to the hacker. This is why you should never download anything from untrusted sources. Sometimes, because these tools might even work to some extent, or appear to work, your friends might even share these to you, and he does not even know that they have a keylogger in them. So be careful whenever you are downloading anything from the internet. So what to do if you get hacked? Well, this is a little bit tricky, because in some cases, you cannot even prove that you are the legit owner of that account anymore, because the passwords and emails, etc. have been all changed. One good way to prove that this is your actual account is to have a receipt ready if you have used any money on that service. This works really well in games that you actually need to buy before you play, because, well, you always have a receipt. In our game, because it is free to play, I suggest you to do a small purchase to get a receipt as a security measure. Of course, you support the development of that game as well at the same time. Another way to prepare for this is to use all the security measures the service has offered. Maybe they have a two-step verification, for example, or in our game, you can verify your email account. After your email has been verified, you can always return your password, even if someone has changed it, and they cannot change your email without your verification email. This way, technically, you can recover your own account without the help of the support. It is very important to remember, once again, to have a different password for your email and games. If the hacker takes your email as well, then there is nothing to do. Last thing is to contact the game's support and ask for help. But like I said, you need to be able to prove that this is your account. Have that receipt or other information ready. Depending on the game, it might be even possible to return your items, or some of them, but sometimes that just is not a possibility. 
If this ever happens to you, then after a hack, make sure your computer does not have any keyloggers or other viruses anymore. Use virus detection software to remove them or otherwise you will just be hacked again and again. But now, back to the subject of the legendary item giveaway. Like I said at the beginning of this video, we have been nominated for People's Choice Award at the Game Connection Europe Development Awards. And you can help us to win that. After the winner has been announced, we will do a legendary item giveaway where the winner can choose a legendary item of their choice. We will do at least one giveaway, but if we win this award, we will give away three legendary items. Um, the legendary item needs to be from one of our boosters inside the game or from the new upcoming um, Halloween update from the Halloween Tower. All you have to do to be a part of this giveaway is to go to Facebook and like our contest and post and that's it. Also linked in the description down below. If you have any questions about getting hacked or about this giveaway, then please ask it away at the comments down below and remember to leave a like while you are at it. And of course, I'll see you in Pixel Worlds.